When I saw the Taurus Omnia came with RGB LEDs, I started thinking about ways to show information through them. I wanted a way to show its status at a glance. The two things I wanted to measure were WAN bandwidth usage and Wi-Fi bandwidth usage. I'm using the colors green, yellow, and red to show the percentage usage. To show the WAN bandwidth usage, I'm running a speed test on a wired client. The first test is for download speed, which shows up on the WAN LED. And I'm pointing to it here, you can see it turns red while the download speed test is running. The second speed test is for upload speed, which shows up on the LAN zero LED, which I'm pointing to here, and you can see it turns red while this upload speed test is running. And once the speed test is finished, you can see they both turn back to green. Then for the Wi-Fi bandwidth usage, I found a way to measure the entire channel and not just your usage of it. So if you're sharing a channel with your neighbor, you can see how busy the whole channel is. Additionally, if your device is connected at a low speed, the bandwidth usage for a full channel is much lower than if your device is connected at a high speed. So the bandwidth usage should be based on how much time the channel is free, not how much data is sent over it. Here you can see I'm on the screen the access point on channel one. Complex Systems is the Omnia, and this is a 2.4 gigahertz channel. So when I run a local speed test and start, you can see that the PCI 3 LED turns red, and that's the 2.4 gigahertz indicator. So now if I switch to another access point on the same channel to simulate a neighbor sharing your channel, and by the way, these access points don't share the same password or name. You can see I'm on the other access point, still on channel one, and this is a Western Digital access point. So when I run the local speed test, you can see that the PCI3 LED turns red again. So you can see that the channel is in use even though that you aren't the one using it. And then once it's done, it turns back to green. Now I can repeat these tests on the 5 GHz network. You can see I'm on screen 5 GHz, which is on channel 44, which is on the Omnia. And now when I run the local speed test, you can see the PCI2 indicator light turns red, and that's the 5 GHz indicator. And once it's done, I can switch to another AP on the same channel to simulate a neighbor again. You can see that I'm on the other AP, channel 44, and back on the Western Digital access point. And now when I run the speed test, you can see that the PCI2 red turns red again. And then once it's done, it turns green.